Hi everybody, and welcome back to Simple Rockets. In our previous episode, we sent a rover and communication satellite to Smatterns Moon Smiten, and it went really well, both in-game and out-of-game. Um, got lots of likes, lots of views, lots of subs. Well, not really, but relatively. Way more than I expected. So, that's really cool, and I just really enjoyed sharing my Simple Rockets experience. It was really fun, so I'd like to do it again. The reason I haven't posted a video since is because I've been busy working on my mod Complete Smaller System, which adds a bunch of asteroids, dwarf planets, and miscellaneous gas giant moons to the game. Um, it took a lot of work and it was really fun, so there's a link in the description if you'd like to t check that out. But anyways, now that that's done and over with, I should be churning ab out about two videos per week, so I'm excited to get into a regular schedule. Anyways, today's video is about sending my mobile smoon base's first module to the smoon. So, without further ado, let's get going. I consider myself pretty much an expert at sending things to the smoon. I mean, I've gotten some really big things to the smoon. I do kind of have a smoon base right now, but it was um, constructed before the bug was fixed, where if you reload the terrain, it'll be different every time. So, if we ever go back there, there's a very high likelihood that it will explode. So, we're going to be staying well away from that. Um, yeah. Got, I got a lot of ships in orbit around Smurth. It's, it's pretty crazy. I think one day, just for challenge, I'll try and rendezvous with every single one of them in one flight. That would be really cool. Just give a tour of my low Smurth orbit um, stations and stuff. But anyways, we are getting closer to the appropriate time to burn. This mission is really tight on fuel. I know it's stupidly wide, but we're just going to barely make it if we do make it to this moon. Or we'll have like three liters of fuel uh, left. It's going to be crazy. Anyways, the ship is kind of designed so that if we just burn at the horizon line right now, we should get a fairly decent encounter with the moon. And we're on our second last stage, like I said cutting it close, the seat of the pants, as I like to say. And it's a very weebly wobbly ship because of its wideliness. Hopefully the last stage is less weebly wobbly and easier to control. But oh, we'll just have to see. I was really impressed with how well how with how good I am at talking to myself. Um, from the previous video. I mean, like, there were, like, three ums in the whole video. It was really impressive. One thing I did notice was that after every sentence, I do an annoying sigh, like that. And so, I'll try and not do that in this episode, but no guarantees. Um, anyways, almost on our last stage. That, that, that's pretty intense stuff. New stage. And pause. Select the smoon for closest approach and encounter tools. And um, burn. So we, in this stage, because the engines are on top of the ship, the center of gravity is all weebly wonky. And so turning left turns the ship right, or pressing the left button turns the ship right, and pressing the right button turns the ship left. So... I, I'm just using the arrow keys for controlling this now because it's just easier on my brain. And I will keep this as straight as possible. Anyways, yep, there's our closest approach jumping, just like in the last video with Smattern. Man, I still can't believe how well that arrow break went. Like, that was freaking ridiculous. Anyways, once again, for this encounter, I will be accounting for my velocity as well as the planet's. So, about there is good. And warp. Hopefully things go well. Like I said, there's going to be not much fuel left. You can see how much fuel I have, and this is all I have to get onto a collision course with the top of and land on the moon. So I will be doing a lot of saving since I will undoubtedly make stupid mistakes 
and um, taking up way too much fuel. I was looking at the Wikipedia list of manned missions to the moon, and, like, Russia killed, like, 600 people trying to get there. It was kind of scary what the Cold War does. Oh, and that's, that's like, almost perfect. Anyways, I'm going to rotate my ship now, and... Um... Are we not rotating? Okay, yeah, we are kind of... Um... Yeah, I'm going to rotate my ship now and then warp so that we can go well. But actually, let me just save this here. And the smoons, S-O-I, just in case I screw up. See how it's turning the opposite way? Oh, RCS would just be too heavy. As I've said several times so far, this is the seat of the pants. We're going to have, like, a liter of fuel left. Um, one of my fellow Simple Rockets YouTubers, Sam DeMan, or I Hurt Simple Rockets on Reddit, um, recently released a really cool video about this, um, door in his space station. That's really awesome, that is just a, it's, you, you have to see it, I'll link it in the, the, the description. Um, Anyways, I, I want an airlock type thing on my smoon base, my mobile smoon base. So, yeah, it, it'll be something like that. Anyways, burning. Continuing to burn. Okay, and we do want to land as on top as possible. Because I, I if I do, this is a really, really, really stable rover. I can just, like drive like I can just um like like leave it alone and it will um it, it it'll just keep going it, it won't stop um so so it's not a big issue if I don't land on the spoon if I don't land on the top but I want to try and land as close as possible Okay, so we are now rotating our ship to point up. Let's wait for that and then warp because, like I've said, it's really difficult to control the ship. And we'll just save here. Falling. Um, hopefully I don't ever have to use any of those saves, but better safe than sorry, I guess. Okay, we are under 150 kilometers, can no longer warp at 100 times speed. I'm going to unlock heading because this just doesn't work with the engines on top of the ship. Okay, I think at about 20,000 meters I will start burning because it may look like I have a lot of fuel left, but this isn't a light object to land. Oh my god, I'm at 12,000 meters. Christ, I didn't even notice. I think I might crash. Like I, oh my god, I, I was just so casual. I didn't, I didn't even notice. I wasn't watching. Oh my god. Okay, I think we're gonna make. Oh my god, look how much fuel I have left. I have like two liters. <sighs> two thousand meters, I think. <sighs> okay, this is so intense. My heart is going. Oh my god! Uh oh. Nope, okay. Take two! Let, let's, let's do better this time. I actually think I burned an okay height. I was just really panicked. But I, I did my second burn way too early. Okay. Let's be watching the height and the speed this time. Um... Yeah, I will do my burn at 10,000 meters. Okay, 40,000 meters and falling. Very intense. This is going to be a shorter video, as I was saying before I got rudely interrupted by our falling altitude, than the last video, because we're just going to the smoon. And like I said, I am pretty damn good at landing things on the smoon. 4,000... Uh, 
13,000 meters, 12,000 meters, 1,000 meters until we start the burn. Okay, let's just quickly save as falling to because I think it's possible to land from this point but I might screw up so I'm doing this sorry if I don't say much during these periods it's very intense for me okay 100 meters a set Oh my god, is that the smooth launch pad? Am I seriously that close to the top? Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 we're going to find speed. Save here. I really don't want to screw up. Uh. Turn, turn, ship, turn. Stop being so awkward to control. Oh my god, we're going to have, like, no fuel. Okay, here comes the surface of this moon. Okay. Oh, look how much fuel we have left. It's like none. Here we go. I have no fuel. I have like three seconds of fuel left. Yes! Touchdown! Safely landed! Okay, that felt good. Ah, uh, put wheels in drive. Where are we? Okay. Let's go this way and look for a flat area. And also, let's get rid of these things. Haha, ha, I'm abusing warp to get rid of debris. Okay! Wow, that, that's probably only like a 20 minute video. That's a world shortness record for me. But like I said, I can just let this thing go, and it won't stop. It's really wide, so it's really stable. It's, it's just gonna go. Um, oh, this is a nice, flat little area. I think I will park it here. Um, slow down, guy. Slow down, go back there. That was nice and flat. You're not allowed to leave. Okay, so yeah, we've got the first module of the mobile Smoon base on the Smoon. That's pretty exciting. Another thing I want to do with the Smoon in future episodes is build a skyscraper on it, just and have have cutscenes where like landing the first module is a full sequence, and then cutscene landing the second, and just stacking up fuel tanks on their sides to build a Smoon scraper. So yes, this concludes landing on the Smoon. Another thing I want to show you is the Smiten Probe. After much um, jiggling, where is the Smiten Probe? After much jiggling of the arrow keys, I finally got him off that bump he was stuck on. That was kind of embarrassing, to be honest, getting stuck in the first few minutes. S um, but yeah, it's like a hundred kilometers to the top of Smiten, so I, I won't be bothering. With drive, with driving all the way up there. Uh, oh my God! There's the bump. No, 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 no! Don't get stuck. Okay, okay, we're good. Anyways, let's get still so that you don't accidentally get stuck or explode or something while we're not watching. Okay. Anyways, um, this has been my video. I appreciate your continued support. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.